so here I have a model this part and I have also created its drawing now I will show you from the scratch how you can model this part and create this drawing in FreeCAD with the help of a tech draw workbench so I will close this file and uh, I create a new file and from here I will switch to the part design workbench I create a body I create a sketch and I will select this uh, exit plane and now we will uh, read our part and uh, create its drawing so we will uh, keep our center here at this and with respect to this center we will create our whole body so as we can see that uh, it is a uh, r11 so i will uh, select a circle and i will give it a dimension of uh, 22 and uh, this is a uh, R35 so before that I will uh, create a horizontal line and I will select it and uh, add the coincidence relation with our origin now I will select our created line and make it construction and I will use the trim tool and I will trim it now this is R35 so I will uh, select a three point arc and uh, create a three point arc and I will select the center of the arc and our origin point and we will merge it and we will give it a radius of uh, 35 mm and now I will move it now we will create one more circle at a distance of 50 mm we will select a circle and give the center to center distance of 50 mm and I will move it and I will give it a diameter 12.5 12.5 and I move it and I will again create a 3 point arc of uh, radius 15.5 so I will uh, create a 3 point arc and I will merge arc center with our circle center now I will move this point and uh, we can see here here is a radius of uh, R6.3 so I will uh, move it to the here and I will create a line and same way I will create a line and join these two points and here we will add the tangency relation we will add uh, we will select this uh, line and arc and add the tangent tangent and we will give the dimensions to our three point arc we will give the radius so we will select the radius and give it 15.5 move it now here is a tangency relation and now we will uh, draw the R6.3 arc so we will again select the 3 point arc add the tangency relation 
similarly here and we will again select the three point arc now we will select this and this and add the tangent similarly this and this and add the tangent now I will make this arc and this arc equal and I will give its dimension which is R6.3 and now I will uh, create one more circle and make it construction and give it a diameter of a 22 now we will uh, find out what is uh, unconstrained in our sketch so we will start from uh, here this center points so this center points is uh, unconstrained so we will select this and this and we will say merge this this arc and this car having the same center now we will select this point and this point and add a vertical relation so now you can see that uh, our sketch is a uh, fully constrained and here we are seeing the two DOF DOF means degree of freedom which are the our for the construction line so that is fine so this is how we have a uh, fully created the sketch now we will close it and if you see our drawing is side view is not given here so we will assume its thickness so we will select the sketch and click on the pad and let's give the thickness of a 5 mm and say ok now we will save our part and now we will create a technical drawing now to create a drawing we will first switch to the tech draw workbench we will uh, select the tech draw now once you select the tech draw the tools will be get activated so first we will uh, insert a default page so once you click on the insert or default page a page has been get inserted here if you click on the template then uh, you will see here the template path and if you want to change your uh, template then you can change it so let's uh, for this uh, part we will use the portrait template so let's uh, select the portrait template A4 so you can see that uh, our template has been changed from landscape to the portrait let's uh, again try some different form of a4 template so let's uh, select the uh, nca portrait yes so this looks good and here i'm seeing the blue tick which means uh, it needs an update so you can press f5 or this icon to refresh your page now we will go to our part and we will set our front view go to the page section and here we will uh, place our view so here is a insert projection group so here you will seeing the error no shape or group links in these sections so first we will uh, select our body and then click on the insert projection group so here is a first and third angle of projections drawing reading in a third angle projection is very easy 
but uh, you can choose to the first angle of projections depends upon your country now once you selected the projection group you will have the option of a scale either you want to keep the scale on a page level or custom level or automatic so we will go with the page and here is a secondary projection so you will see the center it is a base view has been already selected i want it side view so i will uh, select it and here is a spacing in x and y direction which you can change i will simply apply now i will go to the my drawing sheet so you can see that uh, a view has been placed now the dotted boundary which you are seeing is a border which you can easily hide from this icon which is known as a view frame now we will give the dimensions so before giving the dimension we will insert the center mark for this arc and this hole so for this we will uh, select this add center lines so you can see the selection is empty so in free cat first you have to select and then put the center mark similarly i will select this diameter and click on the center marks now i will select this two vertical lines and uh, click on the horizontal dimension i will select this arc and uh, click on the radius tool so my arc was not selected so i will select it and click on the radius r11 and uh, this one is a uh, r35 so we will select it and give the r35 now this is the r6.3 we will select it and give the radius and this diameter is a 12.5 we will select and give the diameter of 12.5 uh, and this radius is r15.5 and uh, total thickness we will select these two points and uh, give the thickness of a uh, 5 mm now you can see that uh, we have uh, given all the dimension provided in the drawing here we can insert some uh, surface finish symbol like uh, we'll select the this face and click on the array options so here is a iso or asme type so i will select the asme type and i will go with the machining symbol and say i will insert the n11 so now you can see that uh, symbol n11 is uh, inserted now here is a rotation option so i will rotate it to the 90 degree or we can say to the minus 90 degree and now i will move it i will move it to the inside and we can off the frame similarly you can insert the surface finish of uh, n11 on the other side we will select this face and uh, click on the array value we will go with asme and see machining and we will give the n11 now i will on my frame now i will rotate it to the 90 degree
now I will off the frame so you can see that uh, we have uh, created this drawing and we have also given the machining symbol we have inserted a surface finish symbol to the faces these two faces and here we have uh, logged the view positions if you click on the view then here you will see the lock positions then I have a uh, set it true because if I make it false then it will go its uh, default spacing which we have uh, kept while placing the view so this is how you can uh, lock the position and here I have uh, added the note remove all sharp edges and burrs and you can also add some surface finish symbols here now we will go to the title view here is a drawing title so I will give here uh, my drawing name which is a swing C washer here you can put the company name like a uh, drawn by so here on a drawn by I put my name Amar Patel or uh, I can put my here channel name and here is a drawing number I can uh, provide some drawing number 1100001-01 and here I can uh, provide the weight weight of the part revision etc so this is how uh, we can create a technical drawing in FreeCAD and once you created a drawing you can export your uh, drawing to the PDF and uh, DXF if, if it is a sheet metal component then uh, you will require the DXF file to cut the uh, your part and uh, you can also export your uh, drawing to the PDF format so this is how to uh, create very simple part in FreeCAD and creates is uh, technical drawing so this tutorials was very simple I have chosen this uh, this very simple part so that uh, uh, most of the people are not aware about much more about the tech draw workbench but uh, uh, tech draw workbench is a very awesome tool you can create a manufacturing drawing like uh, you create in other softwares like a uh, SolidWorks and Autodesk Inventor so this is all about this tutorial I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial if you have enjoyed this tutorial then please like subscribe and uh, share my channel and also support me on uh, coffee.com your small support will help these channels to grow thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time if you like my method of teaching and if you want to support my work then you can buy me a cup of coffee on uh, coffee.com your small support will help these channels to grow and it will motivate me to create more awesome content on FreeCAD. I will provide my website and my Ko-Fi donation page link in a video description.